equal justice under the law. This guiding principle has fueled our work at the Southern Center for Human Rights in Atlanta, Georgia for more than 40 years. Every person who encounters the legal system has a unique story. Mr. Satterwhite is president of the William Joseph Foundation, a family foundation formed by Scott and his wife Patricia Stern in 2006 to support research and programs directed at the mental health recovery movement and to support organizations working to alleviate the effects of poverty in Georgia and the South. Scott has been a supporter of the Southern Center since 2014. What attracted us uh, to begin with uh, was just the work itself. Uh, I think the first thing I learned of the Southern Center was through an article I'd read in the Atlanta Journal-Constitution. The story was about uh, the Fulton County Jail. They were trying to improve uh, conditions uh, there at the jail. And uh, I was intrigued by their use of the power of the law to, uh, to affect change um, in that situation. So I was motivated to learn uh, some more. Uh, so I went and did uh, some research. Uh, and the broader story uh, was great. I love the broader story, the way the Southern Center uses individual representation, um, individual client representation uh, in, in death penalty cases, uh, the way it uses public policy advocacy, uh, and importantly, the way it uses uh, impact litigation uh, to fix the broken elements of our criminal justice system and to try and bring it a little bit more into line with the way it's supposed to be. You know, we have a, a criminal justice system that's built on beautiful words and wonderful ideals. But unfortunately, the system that too many poor people encounter falls way short of the system that's promised by those beautiful words and ideals. We kind of went through a checklist and we looked at uh, the alignment of the work uh, and the mission. Uh, we looked at the uh, impact, uh, the effectiveness and the impact of, of that work. Uh, and then we spent some time uh, looking at uh, the, evaluating the people and the sustainability of, of, uh, of the impact uh, that we saw. And of course the work, uh, again, uh, was a double check. It was a very easy call for us. It was in complete alignment with what we were uh, uh, trying to, to put into place at our foundation. Um, the, uh, the impact, uh, uh, as we uh, learned more about the model, um, was very powerful. Uh, the Southern Center is, is a law firm. They're uniquely positioned to, uh, to affect change um, within the criminal justice uh, system. The people uh, that we saw at the center uh, were great. Obviously, you know, Steve, Steve Wright is an iconic leader in this space, uh, but he's really just the tip, a uh, tip of uh, a very large and very disruptive iceberg. Uh, and I'll tell you, if I, was, if I was the skipper on the ship of injustice and I was gonna collide with that, ice, with that iceberg, I'd put my life jacket and hit the exits. Uh, the first thing I'd say, I, I suppose, is that freedom, you know, ain't free. Uh, this is uh, vital work. Uh, it has to be uh, uh, supported. You have to win freedom day after day, year in, year out, and uh, over the decades. Uh, and so uh, you have to, you know, you have to support, uh, have to support that work. Uh, and you got to be in it for the long term. Uh, so my advice is to give generously and dig in for the long term. If you care about justice and want to make a difference, partner with us to reimagine equal justice. Justice does not just happen. It takes all of us working together to create the change we want to see.